at the root it is the darkest color and I am bringing that all the way down to the very end and I'm leaving the tips plain so that I can add in that red storm so I am just taking the intense red to about three quarters of the length of the hair and then I'm adding in that red storm right there at the tips and I'm using my massage method to make sure that these two colors blend together seamlessly so I'm just going to repeat that method all the way around the back of the head and then when we get to the frontal I am using the red storm as the root color and then I am using the crimson red which is that bright pretty cherry red I'm using that on three quarters of the hair. You really want to make sure that the roots are saturated, even the black parts, just in case because you did do that ombre method. So you do have some pieces of blonde that went up a little bit higher and you don't want any blonde poking through. So just make sure you saturate all of the hair with all of the color so that you don't have any problems later on once you rinse it out. This dye has the consistency of like jelly. It is super, super thick. So you can pretty much be messy um, around the frontal, which I really like because the dye isn't going anywhere. Like you can really slather this dye on and it's not gonna drip. So that's one of my favorite things about it. Also, it smells really good. It has aloe vera mixed into it and it just has a really nice fragrant smell to it. I do recommend these dyes, but I'm still team adore. I did put some saran wrap over the back portion of my hair. That's just to keep it separate since it was darker. I didn't want any dark spots to show up on the frontal. So I just saran wrapped it and kept it separate while I did the frontal. So here is the two portions of hair completely drenched in dye. Of course the dye is a lot darker than it will be once you rinse it out but here you can see the two tones of color and here is the dye completely washed out. Here is the curl pattern now bleached twice and dyed and you can really see those two tones. I then blow dried the hair and basically I wanted to show you guys that the roots were still dark, that the frontal was a cherry red and that the back was just slightly darker once it dried. Um, you can't really tell that the back is darker until you start moving the hair which is super cool. I did want it to be at least three shades darker but it didn't end up being that way. So just be wary of that, that if you want it to be like super noticeable that the back is darker, it probably won't be until you start moving the hair around. So I just threw a couple of pin curls in the bag just to add some body later on and now I'm just taking my wax stick and my handy dandy hot comb and I am just laying that frontal down, okay? I'm going to go for a high ponytail look with the back down today so I'm just gonna add some of my favorite hairspray and I'm gonna really saturate that one piece of hair and just wrap it around the ponytail I'm sure you guys already know how to do this just makes the hair look a little bit more coiffed and put together it just gives it a nice polished look I'm going to go ahead and throw in a few curls at the top and make sure I pin those up to cool as well.
now in this light you guys can really see the difference in the two tones of hair we have a bright cherry red on top and a nice deep red in the back and it has so much dimension I'm so happy with how this color came out so to apply my wig I basically just use my got to be glued gel and then I take the back end of my red tail comb and I press it down then I apply my Sennex strips and I take my blow dryer and I just make sure that that is completely dry all around the edges and that is pretty much how I got this look if you guys want to know more about the wig details the company and the process of me coloring this hair please stay tuned the wig is the 13 by 6 Brazilian lace front and it is in the style water wave you guys will be able to see that when I first bleached the hair it was a natural uh, like 1B color probably like a little bit of brown it's just like a natural brown black color and I lifted that to like a 27 ish like a little bit higher than the 27 and then I was able to get this color using the kiss dyes this is my first time using the Kiss line of dyes, and I will say that the color deposited very well, but my Adore dyes are still hit. Like, I'm not going to trade over to Kiss just yet. They do have a huge range of dyes, so whenever I can't find a dye in Adore, I'll go on over to Kiss. But as far as um, the hair goes, the hair lifted beautifully it did take two bleachings to get to where I needed to go but I am like a nervous Nelly when I bleach hair like I'm watching it and I get impatient and then I rinse it out before it's time so if I would have kept the bleach on the first time I don't think it would have taken as long to uh, process but I also <laughs> always use 40 volume developers and that's not a good thing either like I am not a hair guru or professional at all I just know what I do and then I try to show you guys what I do to help you out so basically I just use my regular Clairol bleach that I use for all my uh, bleachings and a 40 volume developer I think it's time for me to invest in the better developer because this one's 40 volume but it still takes me so long to lift the hair um, the second bleaching I left on probably for like an hour and like 15 minutes ish I rinsed out the front before I rinsed out the back because the front of course I did the first so it could process lighter I don't recommend the salon perfect salon care 40 volume developer but I'm gonna use this mug because I still got like half a thing in here. okay so as far as the bleaching the hair is fine it did the front part did get a, get slightly damaged but nothing that a little bit of silicone mix and um, just kind of conditioning didn't help it straightened gorgeously and I just kind of threw like some really big waves in it and popped it in this high pony this is my first time wearing a wig without baby hair so can we please get a slight round of applause for me for slaying this wig without baby hair thank you thank you thank you so very much i also tinted the lace with just some foundation i told you guys before when you use powder for foundation it does come across a little bit lighter on camera because uh the camera will pick up the difference especially with this big ass ring light it's gonna pick up the difference so if but in real life like you're fine like trust and believe camera lighting and regular lighting daytime lighting Daytime lighting don't snitch like how camera lighting snitches, okay? Except when it comes to makeup because I've seen some of y'all like camera lighting, it'll, it'll take away a couple things. Anyway, we're not talking about that. We're here talking about the wig. So, really quickly, I, uh, she been through some stuff because I'll be throwing stuff around my, around my room. But it was packaged like super duper nicely. It came in this box and then it came packaged inside of a plastic bag. Now, in the box, it's really cool. You get the wig band. They give you the wig band. They give you a really cute storage bag, which is awesome, awesome, because I have so many wigs, you guys, and I have resorted to storing them in gallon Ziploc bags. Like, that's how many wigs. Like, I gotta store them somehow. So, um, they gave me a storage bag, which I'm super duper happy about. They also come with two of these wig clips to help with uh, managing the wig, which is cool a wig cap and all of that information that info card you guys can see that 
So InfoCar has all of their social media on there. And um, I want you guys to go ahead and check out their Instagram because people be slaying these ways, I'm telling you. This hair smelled freaking amazing, you guys. Like it smelled like home. Like I don't know, it smelled, it had this nice lady smell. Like uh, the smell of like the nice kindergarten teacher that you like. Like it just smells so freaking good. And when I washed it and I bleached it and I did all that stuff to it, the smell is still here. Like this hair smells good. Even like I, I always make Craig smell my smell my hair is like my second. Um, like I'll smell and I'm like, mm, and then I'm like, you can hey, smell this. And so, but like when I opened this one, I was like, Craig, you gotta smell this. And he was like, I'm not smelling any more corn chip hair. And I was like, no, 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 no. Smell this wig. And he, even he was like, oh no, this smell real good. Like I don't know what kind of perfume they're putting on or anything like that, but the hair has a great smell to it so that's another thing you don't have to worry about and then I put the aloe vera dye on it that was smelling good and I put my silicone mix on it y'all know that smell good I just smell good right now like I don't have to wear perfume you know what I'm saying I smell really good um but yeah I'm rambling because this wig is giving me like fall witch vibes like really witchy like fall like just just feels so good and then it's about to, it's, it's more on the late in the fall, like we're going into winter, but this with like a white fur coat, mm, y'all playing games? I'm not playing games. I'm gonna be rocking this during the winter. Like, imagine me in my all white, white gloves, white fur coats, killing it, black makeup. Y'all not ready. Like, I'm, I'm giving y'all life with this right now. And basically, I don't have any bad things to say about the wig. As you guys saw in the video, I did um, hot comb and then I curled it. And my curl is getting hot, hot, hot. But I did use my heat protectant that I always use from Ion. And it allowed me, you know, it kind of like protected the hair a little bit more. Because when you're lifting hair and you're bleaching it, the last thing you want to do is add heat damage on top of that. Because the wig is nice. You want to keep it nice. And she held up she held up and i'm really happy to say that she gave me life and she came back at bleaching the first bleaching she took that like a champ like she was not even playing games like i'll try to insert a picture of what it looks like after the first bleaching curls was still there she was hanging in there with like a light brown kind of look to her giving me all kinds of beyonce vibes but i did want to take it higher be able to bleach it to the red color the frontal is the bomb it came pre-plugged i have not plugged anything like this this is it it was so bomb diggity pre-plugged i didn't even use baby hair and y'all know i'm queen of baby hair like i i'm doing baby hair regardless even if it looks good i just can't help myself i'm swooping some edges this is my first time rocking a wig with no baby hair and no swooped edges and they did that for me I'm so excited. Like, I feel like I have never even been this excited on YouTube before. I am late for work. As per you, you should always late for work. But I'm excited about this. I'm excited about the way I look. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, you guys. All of the information on this wig will be below, including all the dyes that I use. If you are not following me, all my social media is below, and you should follow me as well, because I am starting to update you guys more on the process as it is happening. So you'll be the first ones to know what colors I'm doing next, and all that good stuff if you just go ahead and follow my social medias below. I love you guys so very much. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you have not already. Sorry, I went blank because I was like, why would they not be subscribed yet? Exactly. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. I love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye.